Behold some of the things that the Ray Tracer in the Space Imp Project can do. This is all an unmanipulated frame rate. So, getting between 15 and 25 frames a second in the tracer, and that's what's being recorded at 25 frames per second, and that's being processed in single layer, but it's not being sped up. I fish eye in, flatten the camera, and fish eye out a lot in this movie. You see, one of the things, that big block you see there, the complicated one, is a fractal block uh, that has the property that it can be drawn into with different blocks, and those blocks become part of the fractal structure, and so that's why it looks so oddly complicated. I don't demonstrate that drawing process, the construction process in here. Here you see a texture with transparency and mirror and color inside a cave full of red mist. Here we're going across the plane to look at a composite object with embedded blocks with pictures of Shelley Duval from Shining. And that is a very complicated it's a sphere made up of spheres that are themselves effrasterized out of red blocks that are too small to see. And the openings in this, these clip spheres, red spheres, are uh, filled with meshes of little blue spheres that are themselves made up of little blue spheres or something like that. Uh, so you can get it. Actually, there are some interesting interference effects in in the blue there that you can see. Um, OpenGL is only used here for the final steps. That is to say, a, a, an image, a bitmap image, is constructed by the ray tracer, and all OpenGL does is take that image scale it up with linear interpolation, I believe, and put it on screen. And that process has happened before the movie capture. Uh, so none of the matrix projection arithmetic is being done by OpenGL. It would be possible to use OpenGL to do a post-filter on this image besides linear interpolation and scaling, but it doesn't currently exist. So, that's the fractal. Let's see, what are we doing now? Okay, I'm pulling the camera out, fisheye, going up, looking down. Oh, that block we saw before with the mirrors inside the red mist, the mirrors and the dots, and the transparency. I'm drawing it up in the air, now I'm looking down. This horribly complicated texture. I believe that's about, I don't know, 2,000 by 2,000 or 5,000 by 5,000 pixels, the image that forms the texture on the ground there. Here we have a green spheres, and I'm drawing them, lots and lots of them, up in the air, down on the ground. Very clearly, this is totally, totally unlike a rasterizer in look and in feel uh, when one navigates through it. I love those interference effects on the textures. The rippling.
And those are all, those green spheres are made up of tiny little cubes, but they're normal shaded according to their position in the sphere, not according to the position of the ray on the face of the tiny cubic heads. So, um, those spheres are actually made up of blocks.